the whole place is 1200. 1200, you got it right. No roommates. No roommates. This is the whole thing. How do you go about living in a place like this? That's what we're here to find out. Why is the window open? Ventilation. Here we are, Midtown West, over here by Columbus Circle. The goal is to see the weirdest departments we could possibly look at today. But all these are here in Midtown, right by this bagel place. Oh man, that pastrami looks like money. And look, there's people inside. They're busy. Plus there's ramen. The reason New York apartments are small and expensive is because they're by everything. Cool, man. Nice to meet you. I've never eaten here, but you know it's good because the sign is flickering and because of all the delivery bikes. Then we got local coffee and they have spicy rice and corn dogs. Okay, that's an egg toast. I would eat that. It's a Korean egg McMuffin. It's probably better and more tasty and less bad for you. But will it be better than egg on a roll from your local deli? Depends on the deli, but they're everywhere. This is an eater's paradise. Mexican, future Mexican, Indian. And then we have the Me Noodle Shop. They also do barbecue, it's really good. Look at this crazy little Thai place. There's like a massive bell. Pizza, Afghani, American retro. Pork cutlet, very popular in Japan. And then we have Peruvian chicken. You haven't lived until you've had New York Peruvian chicken. Rancho, Tequeria, French toast, omelets, tacos, pizza, Jaspers, really good nachos here. And you're definitely coming here because the apartment is right over here. The first apartment. What's up, dude? Not much, it's freezing. Bro, this is a nice building. That it is. I wanted to see some weird apartments. If you want to see some weird apartments, follow me. This is a ton of mailboxes. There are 60 apartments in this building. You have 60 neighbors. Where do your packages go? I hope nobody's a package thief. Oh, did we walk past it on our way in? There you go. Okay, cool. And there's a little password. Based on the entryway, it looks super clean. Zero complaints about pests. Oh, okay. No one's signed up. What floor are we headed to? Second floor. You ready? Um, yes. What? This is it. This is it. $1,200. $1,200. It feels like a closet. Because it is, almost. Actually, it does kind of have its own closet. Yeah. Why is the window open? Ventilation. I'm guessing the way to close it is to stand on it. Okay. It looks like it was frosted over, so you don't need a curtain. Are all today's apartments like this one? No. Who rents this? People that rent apartments like this are usually students, okay. people with low income, but with a strong desire to live in New York City. Could be a good first apartment. Absolutely could be. It's like a dorm at the end of the day. And like a dorm, no kitchen, no bathroom. Bathroom's in the hallway. Okay, yeah. but you have to like wear a robe. Yeah. I guess you could put like um, like a small countertop or something around here. How many outlets does it have? You have? How do you even plug in the AC? There's nothing over here. Look. Dude, that's wild. I know, you need an extension cord. That's crazy. You're probably gonna want to get an extension cord and like loop this like around. Cause I see two outlets over there. This pipe seems kind of warm though. I'm guessing that's the heater. Yeah, heat does go through the pipe. It's warm in here. But I guess you're not gonna have much stuff. It all has to kind of go here. What do you think? You're gonna have to like loft your bed up with a little ladder or something? Yeah, loft your bed up, put your desk under there. It's nine feet long by six feet, nine inches wide. The entire place. The entire place. This is less than 63 square feet. So the whole sleeping apparatus is gonna be there. Maybe you could have a small desk here and then I guess that's gonna be about it. Yeah, either loft it up or get a Murphy bed. And I guess, Microwave hot plate for cooking. Yeah, Go. whatever you prefer. Get a subscription to Grub Up. You yeah, might have to. Yeah. It doesn't come with it though. Alex, where's the bathroom? Right down this way. Wow, it's uh may not might not be a 
two-person bathroom. No. I was expecting this to be worse, but it's actually really clean. Yeah, it's not terrible. Old, yes, but clean. Lots of mirrors. Let's check that water pressure. Dude, that's cool. Shower's behind me. Okay. Oh, and there's a tub. Yeah. Would you shabby? Would you go for a soak in there? <laughs> yeah, I would. Right now, actually. What happens if we close the door? It kind of like. Does it hit the sink? No. No. This might be cleaner than the bathroom you share with your frat roommates. And it has a fancy purple shower curtain. The color of royalty. Little soap shelf. There's a mop right here, so they must mop. Yeah, it probably makes sense to like clean up after yourself in yeah. here. A lock on the door. Is that a warmer? Let's see. Is it ticking? Uh, I don't think it does no, much. No, no, listen, listen, you hear it? Oh, that's the light. Yeah. So the light's on a timer. It is on a timer. That would make perfect sense. Energy efficient. There's an outlet, so if you have to shave, you can plug in like a razor. Towel rack in the corner. And if you look up, you don't see any like signs of distress. No mold or anything in the corners. Pipes all look good. Strange place, but it's not like, I was gonna say dirty. It was kind of dirty, but it'll be clean before somebody moves in. The hallways are clean as well. There's not like marks or graffiti or anything on the walls. It's well lit. And look at this hallway. I feel like this wood would have been an apartment. But it's not because it's three feet wide, two feet wide. It had a fire escape though, I don't know. Just put a door like right here. That would actually be pretty good. Best apartment in the building. This is the cheapest one better than the area. What's the price? $34.95. I made a mistake before, it's actually $33.95. Oh, it got cheaper. Yeah. As we walked up one flight of stairs. Twelve and a half feet long by six feet ten inches. This terrace is bigger than that first apartment. Huge fan of this uh, divider right there. I don't know if that came with the place. Well, it does come with the place, but if the landlord did it, landlords don't have flowery personalities, and I don't see it on any of the other ones. But look at those little balconies that everybody else has. This is way better than a balcony cash. Totally, man. You could have a grill right out here, and these are the steps to get up, so you could bring food in and out. Neighbors have a bizarre greenhouse. What do you think they're growing? Plants. You could probably also get a really nice seating set up over here. And it feels really quiet, even though we're facing the back and there's like all these other buildings, there's zero street noise at all. I just wonder if those people get loud or whatever happens in this courtyard. Would this be cheaper with no terrace? Yeah, for sure. Probably cheaper. Yeah. I think it would go for like 29 without a terrace, roughly. So you've got to spend more than double the amount of money as the first apartment to get a real apartment? Correct. Oh, did I break it? Oh no, that's where your oven pans are. Flip this little guy back up. It's nice to see a place with a real kitchen. And this is actually pretty good. Look, we got cans of paint on the island. I would put a stool back here. It's kind of a tight squeeze, but you could sit here and look at your friend Alex while he visits you. Your feet will be warm too. There's a little heater under here and there's a window. I'm still glad this is here, even if it's a little strange. A microwave, that's nice. How's our water pressure? And this wasn't a drawer. It's actually a micro dishwasher. Then over here, fridge. Closet, living room, 11 feet, seven inches by nine feet, nine inches. Which side do you think is better for the couch? Couch over here for sure. Mount the TV over here, just my recommendation. Well, it looks like somebody else took you up on it. Look at all that spackle. Cable wires here as well. This bathroom is like a labyrinth but it's in the apartment. It has a medicine cabinet with mirrors. Boy, not having to leave to do things like washing your hands, that's definitely worth more money. There's our standing shower. Glass is a little foggy. This is what it's like inside, big enough. And look at this, it's almost like got two sections. The throne section's over here. You got yourself a window. And the light switches are actually behind the washer dryer, so they're kind of hard to reach, but I'd still rather have a washer dryer. Otherwise, you're hunting for laundromats. We've created a little 12 by nine bedroom. I'm just curious. It's actually a decent amount of light passing through. It doesn't feel dark in here. I mean, it would, that's your only window. In the closet. What's in there? Free AC. Yes. Oh, look at that. 
just like the other apartment. It's nice that we're spending three times as much and we still get the free AC. I guess your bed kind of goes in this corner only because you've got the closet, the door, and then the outside. You could do a bed right here. I might recommend that actually, just because if you put the bed there, you can't open the closet. Oh. All so the... oh, floor. Four floor. Okay. $43.95 is only a thousand more than the last place and it's a two bedroom. Oh, okay, cool. So we get an extra room. And if you live in this apartment, you're only paying double what we paid for place number one. And look at that. We even have hallway laundry with a laundry shelf. Why is there a hot plate on top of the stove? It's a gas stove. So gas in these apartments is something that the utility company supplies. They own the infrastructure for it. It generally means that there's an outage and that was supplied by the property owner. It's common, it does get repaired quickly. And this is actually a good thing because the landlord's prepared so that you don't complain as much. What else we got here? Dishwasher, fridge. Oh, it tells you the temperature and it's cooling. Look at this little ledge back here. I guess you could put spices in it. Not a lot of room for appliances, but you got outlets, microwave. Bizarre drawer. What goes in here? I guess the reason this is so compact is so that you could have a living room. This is similar to what we saw in the one bedroom. Couch on this side, mount your TV, table underneath. It does feel super bright. There's no window in this room, no kitchen window, nothing here, but these are facing west. And we're directly looking over 10th Avenue, so it's always gonna be bright. Again, you gotta create the bedroom by closing it off, but once we do that, I mean, decent light, not depressing for New York. This bedroom feels decent. Next to the closet, you could have a dresser, buy your free air conditioner, bed over here, and maybe a desk by the windows. Oh, this is a huge plus. This strange heater means you don't have to pay for your heat. The landlord pays. There's a fan in the bathroom. Feels kind of like a small room in here, but hey, again, it's in the apartment, which today is a feature. Big sink, water's looking good. We got a shelf here for something. Toilet paper, soap, toothbrushes. Towel rack. It's warm, so it's like a warmer. When you come out of the shower, you won't freeze. This is what it's like being in the tub. And there's also this hand towel holder in a very interesting location. Medicine cabinet looks good. Mirrors everywhere. And even though it's a tight squeeze, look, the door fully opens. Ha, it works. Those are some really small fan blades, but hey, if you need a fan, why is it not turning off? Okay, that's the light, I want that on. There we go. This room is 10 by eight. More space here than in our micro apartment. It has a window with arguably a better view. Not hating on that other place, but this view is technically an upgrade. And the storage is an upgrade. Look, we've got like a little closet nook over here with this guy. And behind it, there's a shelf for like absolutely no reason. Maybe there was a window here at some point. We got this window. But look, there's some natural light up there coming in. And this will fit a queen size bed. Dresser over here, small desk. This apartment probably makes more sense than anything else we saw just because the per person is reasonable at 2200 or so and you have a kitchen, laundry in unit, same great neighborhood. And check this out, down one flight of stairs, we have a one bedroom. $34.95, very similar layout. Kitchen and bathroom are pretty much in the same spot. Is this different? Not really that different. Big window in here. Kitchen, I would say, is comparable. But remember, this is almost the same size for an extra grand. So you can double the bedrooms in a building like this without doubling the price. I think that's why that two bedroom is probably the most sensible option. Unless, of course, you just don't wanna share your apartment. And if you want a free ladder. If you wanna rent any of these apartments, I'm gonna have Alex's info below. Thank you very much, sir. Of course, anytime. See you in the next video.